Hey everybody, I am back for another video and uh, today I am in Stanton, Virginia and I am here checking out the Woodrow Wilson Presidential Library. He was born in Stanton. Uh, so let's go. Let's check it out. Come on. When Woodrow Wilson returned from France after negotiating the Treaty of Versailles in, in 1919, a new Pierce Arrow limousine awaited him at the dock in New York to take him back to Washington. The automobile had just been added to the White House fleet. Wilson favored his automobile so much that when he left office, his friends purchased it for him to use. The car had received its finishing touches at the plant of the manufacturer, the Pierce Aero Motor Company of Buffalo, New York, in June 1919. It was the 120th of the Series 51 model. Woodrow Wilson wore this dress as an infant. And this is Wilson's Princeton study. In June 1902, Princeton trustees promoted Professor Wilson to be president. Wilson aspired, as he told alumni, to transform thoughtless boys performing tasks into thinking men. He tried to raise admission standards and to replace the gentleman's C with serious study. This briefcase was used by Woodrow Wilson from the time he was a professor at Princeton until he retired from public life in 1921. He held everything from graded student papers to the 14-point speech and his notes at the Paris Peace Conference. The case and our most recent acquisition it was acquired in December 2006. The President's Parents, Joseph Ruggles Wilson. And it says here that Woodrow Wilson was a son, grandson, and nephew of Presbyterian ministers. This is Jesse Janet Wilson. This desk was used by Woodrow Wilson while he was governor of New Jersey.
Ellen Wilson was gravely ill with Bright's disease as war clouds gathered in Europe in the summer of 1914. Woodrow Wilson slowly came to realize that he would lose his life partner. When she died on August 6th, he sobbed, Oh my God, what am I to do? She was buried in her hometown, Rome, Georgia. section of the machine gun belt made out of cloth. This is debris from battlefields of the Musargon, France. A Bowie knife alone from William Walker. Trench knife.
gas mask, bag and shaving kit. Oh wow, I'm going into the trenches. Check this out. It says here, as the fighting reached its stalemate in 1914, the Allies and the Central Powers dug more than 450 miles of trenches to protect their troops, to ensure that enemy attackers could not enter the trench and fire down its length. The military engineers built zigzags every 10 yards. This feature also limited the effects of the enemy hand grenades and artillery shells that exploded in the trenches. This, here's a trench periscope to enable soldiers to watch the enemy without exposing themselves to fire. The armies provided simple periscopes Sentries could remain below ground level and watch for raids and attacks launched by the enemy. This figurine, uh, this is a porcelain figure, it satirizes President Wilson, showing him holding a book with the text in German, Die 14 Punky. Um, the uh, 14 points presented by Wilson as a way towards peace would become the basis for the Treaty of Versailles. And this is a one-handed drinking mug was manufactured by the Royal Staffordshire Pottery Company to commemorate the arrival of United States troops in England. Smith & Wesson Cold 11 Automatic. All right, so that was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I sure did. Um, it was nice kind of walking through and uh, learning about uh, President Woodrow Wilson. Uh, now, they also do a tour here of his home where he was born, um, which is called the Mans, uh, which, um, uh, which you cannot uh, videotape or do um, any kind of photography in. So I didn't capture that but it is a really neat uh, tour so if you get your chance to check check it out definitely do the tour and then you have a self-guided uh, tour through the museum that you can do um, so hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel uh, to, to stay up to date on the latest videos and uh, also uh, check out my Instagram and Facebook pages as well uh, I do have an email called beautifulrust.videos at gmail.com, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great one.